Hey everybody, this is Dandy Bundy, and we're continuing our Let's Play of Banjo Tooie. Last episode, we started the game, and we just defeated Klungo, and now we're going into this green area, which is the Isle of Hags, Jinjo Village. We'll be heading into Jinjo Village a few times. This is one of my silos. Open up some more to create a network of short cut tunnels. Okay, and we've got a bunch of different things that we can uh, acquire here. I don't have any gold feathers. Well, I have two now. But this game has some very memorable music. But there's kind of just exploring to do right now. We're um, heading in. Uh, we could head into Jinjo Villages or the, the King Jinjo's. Oh, it's Bottle's house. You can go in here. Get some more gold feathers. Always use more gold feathers. In here. Do, 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 do. Hello there, Banjo. How are we today? Pretty good, Mrs. Bottles. And your sale? Oh, fine, fine. Tell her about Ghosty Boy. Keep quiet, Kazooie. What was that? Is Bottles okay? He should be back from Spiral Mountain for his dinner soon. He never misses his dinner, you know. Well, I'm sure he'll be back soon, Mrs. B. This is depressing. How do you go about telling your family, or your, your um, teacher's family that he's dead? Oh, cameo appearance. But not cameo, but Juno from Death Force Gemini. Hello, Bamboo. Hi, Goggles. Since you and Daddy are so such good friends, I'll give you these prototype glasses he's working on. Did he finish working on them by any chance? Oh, yes. I believe they're called the Amazel Gaze Glasses. How do they work? Well, when in Banjo's eyes of you, you see left and see right to zoom in and out. Not bad. So now we have the ability to zoom in and out. Look at the Jet Je Force Gemini poster a little bit better. And the old rare logo. Not the new one that we have now. Okay, and... There's another... Uh, we could go into... Oh, here it is. Hi there, Banjo. Hi, Specky. Me and my dad are going to be playing in the kickball tournament next week over at the Mayan Stadium. King Jingling is organized especially for my dad since he's such a hero. Uh, I don't suppose you have any substitutes. Why would he need a substitute? My dad is the best on the team. I'm sure he was. Er, he is. And did you know that that over there is my secret way out of the village? It's closed at the moment, but I'm sure King Jingling will open it for you if you ask him. King Waddling? You mean you haven't spoken to King Jingling yet? You better go and see him right away. Hmm? This is my polish. Not bad, eh? Just come on in and see the Jingster. <laughs> That's not the voice I want to give him. But... Oh well. <laughs> and in here, we have Vila from Jet Force Gemini. Yippers. Cool stuff. I, this came out in 2000. I don't remember when Jet Force Gemini came out. Wow, I was looking down and I forgot where I was going. Okay, let's go talk to King Jingling. Yeah, because I think we're done in here. And we really don't need to go into any of the Jinjo houses because um, they're all empty right now. The digger scared them all away. Um, let's just head into Jingling's then. Yeah, buddy. So regal. Oh, and also he has Toots, the same little creature from Gobi's Valley. The ruby head. Yo, what's up? I'm King Jingling, king of all things Jinjo and ruler of this village. Your kingdom seems a bit empty. 
My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. I kind of like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kickball tournament next week. Doesn't seem that important to me. But it is. There's a big kickball rivalry between the Jinjos and the Moles, which means there could be trouble if we don't turn up. Oh, oh dear. Exactly. Anyway, here's an incentive for you to rescue my people. Our first Jiggy. I believe you should go and see Master Jiggy Wiggy in his temple now. Jiggy who? Jiggy Wiggy. He's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. Ancient order? Crystal Jiggy? You just made that up, didn't you? No, honest. It's all true. He's very important to your adventure, as only the Crystal Jiggy can open the world that you must enter. Can you show us the way, King Dingling? It'll be my pleasure. Well then. We know where that is. Go, Banjo, go. The first part of this game is very cutscene heavy. Very cutscene heavy. Not bad for a king, huh? Yeah, his strange pet thingy was cool. Let's go and find that Jimmy Wim Wiggy then. Jimmy Wiggy. Meanwhile... That's so cool music. Grant could cope you overdid yourself again. Doing Kazooie's voice is gonna make me lose mine. Gosh. Come on, sisters, time I lack. What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming is, so stop it or we will not tell. Oh, if I must. Big ol' B this is. Big ol' blaster built by Mingy and me. Life force from ground. Plants and creatures it can suck. Stored in big tank life force is. Shower grunt you will take when tankful. The new body you will have. An evil and heartless plan. I like it. How long will it take to suck up enough life force? Not slim you are, so plenty will be needed. So start blasting! Patient you must be. Target you first must pick. Hmm. That cursed jingling has just given the furry fool a jiggy. I reckon we should blast the Jinjo King. Auto targeting Bob has button you only have to press. So how did he how did she know that he gave Banjo a jiggy? That's what I always wanted to know. What the Bob is. So begin will the firing sequence. Whoop 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 whoop. Anybody who says this game is for kids should think twice. <laughs> Target Bob has hints. Still a force he will. Unlucky Bob was. There we just missed. Like, literally just missed. Never mind him. What about that traitor jingling? Yeah, all these voices are gonna kill my throat. <laughs> Aw, zombie king. Ha ha ha! He's just a zombie now! Successful Bob was. Jingling's life force we have. Right then, girls. Let's blast the whole island. 
this we can do, but big charge of Bobby will need. Hours it will take, and revenge bear will seek. Pa! I wouldn't worry. Banjo's got no one to help him now that Mole and Jingling are gone. He'll never get to us in time! That was something. <laughs> Alright, well, turn around. Like, when she said she barely missed us, she's not kidding. We're, like, right there. Okay. I kind of just want to go back in here. Because... The music turned minor. And you have to be careful with jingling, because... He'll attack you. Poor Toot over here. He's dead. I heard that Minjos look less like us Jinjos. How bizarre. Poor zombie jingling. Let's leave this wretched place. Yeah. <laughs> now it's all happy again. Into Battle's house through that little passageway that we found earlier. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this game is ridiculous. What do you have? Is that Donkey Kong? Yes. I always have to make, make, make like, a point of looking at things because it will help us later. But now, let's head back into the... To this area. And Isle of Hags, Wooded Hollow. I am Chiggy Wiggy, and this is my temple. If you want to see me, you'll need to get past my doorman first. He has such a deep voice. Jingling. Not jingling. Chiggy. Chiggy Wiggy. Chicky wicky wicky. Exactly. Oh, no. Watch it. <laughs> I'm like. Oh, let me... oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? Now we have two silos. And we can connect to the other one if we wanted to. Okay. I am a lowly disciple of Jiggy Wiggy. I work the door of his sacred temple to keep out those who are not worthy. Sounds like fun. Do you think we are worthy? That depends. To prove yourself worthy to enter, you must collect images in the form of Jiggy Wiggy himself. And what might these images look like? Jigsaw pieces, also known as Jiggies. That sounds familiar. Let's see what you have then. It seems you have collected enough jiggies to be allowed inside. Remember, no cameras permitted and only food purchased that make jiggies can be eaten within. Alright, now let's enter the palace of Jiggy Wiggy. Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Temple, not palace. My bad. Greetings, O oh Chosen One. You have entered the sacred temple of Jiggy Wiggy. Approach the golden monolith if you wish to pro prove yourself worthy. Now this is fun because the game is like the bottles challenge in Banjo-Kazooie, the original, which I don't know if I got to show or not. Basically, you must complete the image before you, if you wish to travel to where it shows. Use the control stick to guide your hand. Press A to pick up a piece. Once the piece is held, it can be placed down by pressing A or returned to the outside by pressing B. You only have a limited time to prove yourself. May Jiggy Wiggy grant you luck. But he's Jiggy Wiggy. Does that mean he's wishing me luck? And these, these puzzles, especially at the beginning, are really easy. They get a little bit harder each time. Like, there are more puzzles to be taken out and whatnot, but yeah, if my A button would work, it'd be so much easier. We still got it. 
you have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge one. So now the Great One will show you the way. And big cutscene time, because as I mentioned, the beginning of this game is all cutscene. I mean, we're into the second episode, and this is like the third cutscene. I'm excited. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. And... So, the giant crystal Jiggy power shines, taking us still in the wooded hollow. Easter egg behind Jiggy Wiggy. There's a little back area with three little signposts on it. This is an information signpost. Press B when next to one to read it. Have you looked on the roof of the Red Ginger House? Witchy World is where fortune may smile upon you. An egg container followed by jingling. Now, these really don't make sense for now. I might explain them later. I might not. We'll see. But we go back into Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Ah, the power of the Jiggy. Which, if you didn't know, Jiggy's jigsaw pieces actually are actually the symbol of autism awareness. I don't know if it's the exact like exact like this, but I used to actually hold a um jig or used to wear a jiggy necklace everywhere I went for banjo's sake. But um we had to I had to stop that when people asked me if I was autistic. Um, Alright, let's go into Sale too. We're just kind of exploring the wooded hollow right now. Peggy's egg shed. Hang in the hand. Find special leg. Got no special legs yet. Afraid not. Hang got one. But can't reach it. So you must hatch. Well, I can't hatch things. Let's have you walk things, because I'm not walking on that. Oh, it's a, it's a yellow question mark egg. Ooh, question marks. This is... We couldn't figure out stop and swap, so we put it in here. Alrighty. Which in the Banjo 2 version for the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh -huh. If you have a Banjo Kazooie save file with it, we use that. Which is cool. Alright. And we're like 18 minutes in right now, so I am going to go ahead and call this an episode. And until next time, this is Indie Bundy. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll head into the first level. Finally, after two episodes. We'll see you later.